So my question, oh. um, so my question is like, so you're obviously like a professional political pundit. You've had years of training. You know, you have all this money worth of resources behind you. You have a PR team. You got security here. So like, why do you, as like a professional pundit, think it's fair to come to college campuses and debate like college freshmen? Like, do, doesn't that seem like kind of unfair to you? Well, hold on. I mean, let's let's stop talking down to college kids. I'm talking to voters, right? Th this audience will determine the future of America. Yeah, yeah, okay. And as you could see with my first dialogue, I'm not here to be adversarial. We disagreed. I let him have his points in. And as far as the fair standpoint, I have no notes. You can go bring a professor. Why don't you go bring a professor and bring him up to the mic? Okay, well, okay. Why don't you go find, a, find five professors that have PhDs? I didn't go to college. That's a fair fight, right? By the way, you guys are in college. I didn't even, I graduated high school. Okay. I mean, like, you come here, you say, this is not adversarial, but, I mean, on the text message you sent out, it says, come to the debate. You have this sign that says, prove me wrong. It seems like you, you like, want this, like, debate to happen so you can put on YouTube and upload well, a clip of you dunking on the libs or whatever, dude. It seems like a well, grift is what it seems well, like to me. Okay, but hold on a second. Don't you agree that more speech, not less speech, is better for a free society? Sure, I agree with that, yeah, yeah. but... But I would agree that, like, on this basis, it just seems like it's, like, disparate levels of, like, resources. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't seem, t to me, it seems, like, kind of disingenuous in you coming here because it seems like you don't really, like, want to have this debate. You just want to, like, dunk on people, bro. Well, well let, let me see. I mean, so you're trying to play into my intentions, though. So let me, why am I here? I'm here to support our Turning Point chapter. I'm here to help Tim Sheehy to defeat John Tester, as I said, which there's a lot of support for that. And we're going to have dialogue and disagreement. And yes, I've been doing this for quite a while. But you could also go phone a friend. Go bring 10 libs. You can all have your phones. And you could debate me and I'll have no notes. And we'll see who wins. In fact, I just debated 25 college kids by myself and actually went pretty well. So yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what your point is here. This is a free speech event. You could bring whoever you want. And also, you don't have to come up to the mic. I, I was just asking you, dude. Like, Yeah, and that's it. So if there's a point of disagreement, we can do that. But last thing I'll say is this, is don't think so low of college kids. You might, I don't. This audience will determine the future of Western civilization. And this audience might be drafted into a world war. This audience is being used as pawns by people like John Tester and Kamala Harris to put their radical agenda. It's time that we start talking to the next generation, not talking down to the next generation. And that's what we're doing. Thank you.